The, uh, the tax and spend Democrats are back. Uh, President Biden has just signed into law a $1.9 trillion spending bill, and now the White House and President Biden are talking about raising taxes. Uh, this would be the most significant tax-raising piece of legislation in the last 28 years. Now, at home in Wyoming, I don't talk to anybody that says, hey, I hope they raise my taxes. Uh, Republicans, conservatives, people are not for raising taxes. And the Biden administration is talking about doing it many ways, uh, raising the tax rates on income tax, raising the taxes on long-term investment income, uh, resuscitating the death tax. And then, oh, they want to spend more money in the IRS to hire more IRS agents to look into you and your taxes and your business dealings. Well, they say they want to raise all of this money under the guise of infrastructure. But infrastructure, the way that the Democrats are using the phrase, is just code for their climate agenda. I chaired the committee last time in the Senate, the Environment and Public Works Committee. We did real infrastructure, roads, bridges, highways, ports, dams, thing that, things that contribute to the economy and to communities and for good jobs. That, to me, is infrastructure, not what the Democrats are talking about now. Now, I thought we could work together in a bipartisan way, but there was a hot mic moment yesterday with the Secretary of Transportation and one of the Senate Democrats, which made you really think, are they really wanting to work with us? But it sure sounds like they don't. You know, they're talking about the climate agenda with rules and regulations and mandates making it harder for businesses to work and for people to get hired and economies to get stronger. So it's about raising taxes for them and it's not about infrastructure as I know it, but it's no surprise. Republicans are not going to partner with Democrats on the Green New Deal or on raising taxes to pay for it. Uh, so this week, Democrats filed S-1 in the Senate. Much like H.R. Uh, 1, it's a partisan effort, frankly, to take over the elections in a way that sort of drives off a partisan cliff. It takes the Federal Elections Commission, which has always been evenly divided, and turns it into a 3-2 commission with the third vote on one side being determined by whoever is elected president. Uh, it requires ballot harvesting in every state. Uh, taxpayer dollars to candidates for Congress. If you can raise a dollar uh, from, small from a small contributor, you can get six dollars from taxpayers to match that dollar. So if you get $100,000 raised somehow, suddenly you've got $700,000, almost all of which is money that would have gone to other taxpayer purposes rather than to politics. Uh, and um, in addition to that, it sets one standard for congressional redistricting for the whole country, and one umpire, one ultimate referee for that one standard becomes the D.C. Circuit Court. It is everything Democrats have tried to do for 20 years, uh, and in some ways, things that Democrats never even thought about mentioning before, like a partisan Federal Election Commission.